Hi YouTube, I have another OTT deck profile for premium because the new Ichikashima card is really cool. Running Lozenge Magus because it's hand size and soul and honestly feel like you don't really need to run the other starters because most of them are bad. But yeah, so Lozenge Magus. Four copies of Imperial Daughter because it's a grade 3 that gets you a gift and hand advantage and on ride, so you do that and then you can just stride, which is cool. And then for that exact same reason, I'm running four copies of Hexagonal Magus, because Hexagonal Magus is just diet Imperial Daughter, but it also has something on rear, which is cool. So, Imperial Daughter is on ride, counter blast one, check top two, add one to hand, soul the other, and if you rode on top of a three, she gets 15k and a crit, that part doesn't matter. And also Soul Blast 1 gave a dude 6k, that one doesn't matter. A uh, Hexagonal Magus is kind of us one on right, check top 2, add 1, top deck the other no matter what. And on van or rear when you drive, check a trigger, she gets 5k. Still have the one copy of Victor this Victorious Deer as a fun spooky tech. And um, being able to guarantee crits while under either Ichikoshima is really sick. Four copies of Silent Tom, it wouldn't be Ichi Tom without the Tom side. Tom is incredible with both Ichi Kashimas, because it's either going to be really big and I'll, that and it can't be PG'd or normal guarded, or it literally can't be guarded. Uh, usually against, um, yeah, it's really good. So yeah, Ichi, this card, Tom was still great with the new Ichi Kashima, especially against Protect, because old Ichi doesn't stop gifts, but the new one does. Uh, four copies of Promise Daughter. It's a 15k beater that can't be retired. That, that's basically a pseudo resist, which is good. Uh, it's free and it hits decent numbers. Yeah, I'm probably gonna. I'm trying to get that Tank Man mode interrupt thing, but nobody I know has them and I can't put in a TCG player order for like 8 cents, so I'm trying to find it. But Promise Daughter is good. I don't know what the name of the grade 2 is. It's like a 7k that lets you draw or something. Um, four copies of Rectangle Magus. It's Hexagonal Magus on rear with a Soul Blast cost for that skill. Uh, it's a grade 2 that gives you advantage and it lets you get the Tom faster. So, four. Uh, four copies of Tetra Magus. It gives you a draw and you can put crits on top of your deck if you want. So... Um, yeah, it's good for that. It's good for both reasons. If you have Tom set up, you get this crits, and if you don't have Tom, you can just keep the draw as a plus one, or guarantee a trigger. Both options are good. So, love that, Tetra. Uh, then we're running four copies of Oracle Guardian Gemini. Uh, this deck counterblasts and soul blasts quite a bit, soul blasting less so though. Uh, Gemini helps you not soul blast because if you're at 3 damage you just shove these naked babies into the soul and get a counter charge, so it's a good ability. Uh, next, 4 copies of the stride fodder, Ameno Murakumo. Running it because um, you're an idiot if you think you don't run stride fodders with progenitor dragons. You really want to stride with this deck, and yeah, it's um, it's a stride fodder. I don't know why I need to explain to you why you want to stride in after pre, especially after premium collection. But here we are. Wow, shit! I'm already down at the triggers. Jesus Christ! I gotta slow down for the ad revenue. Uh, four copies of Weather Forecaster Miss Mist. Uh, OTT. Ha oh. I want to wait till we get like the 7k drop and draw PG to turn this into 12 crit because um, I don't want to run draws, but I want to, yeah, um, I need to figure out how to fit PGs in this because I don't want to run draws, but I want to run PGs because it's OTT, but like I haven't really had a deck out problem because this deck can like kill pretty easily, but yeah, crits will help it kill even easier, so I'm going to get, I'll get PGs in here. Uh, four copies of Battle Sister Pulveron, which is the G Guardian bind two to counter or soul charge. Yeah, it's only a 5k shield, uh, trigger and a 10k shield, but like, 
This deck uses resources a lot, and being able to get them back when you can is pretty important, so I am running it very intentionally. Uh, four copies of Psychic Bird, because it's a V-series trigger, and four copies of Weather Girl, uh, Send All, because it's a V-series trigger that also has an effect. So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much the main deck. Onto the G-Zone. Uh, first, I'm just going to uh, the shoutouts out of the way. I'm borrowing Richard, Zoa, and Agnos because I don't have Agnos yet, and Zoa is still $60. I wish I owned a Zoa. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> uh, what the hell is your name? Ultima. Okay, so Ultima and uh, White Zoa. Uh, I don't have either of these because I don't have Agnos yet because I've been lazy about... Or oh, wait a minute. I can just put Agnos and Tankman in the same card if I need to. Yeah. But also, I don't play this game consistently enough to put $60 into a single card for Ultima, so, uh, yeah. But these are both really good. I'd run them if I didn't have to borrow them from Richard. Uh, Agnes is a free stride card because it's a progenitor dragon. And also, OTT is, like, kind of slowish in the early game, so, like, you, you won't have a huge board, so it's pretty easy to shit out a bunch of cards for the draws, so, like, it's fine. And then Ultima, um, Ultimaing while you're under Silent Tom is really fucking funny. And also just guaranteeing two, 20, two crits that give 10k each is wild. So, um, yeah, I would definitely run both of these if I had them. Bushi, please give us another revival collection just so these can be cheaper. Or, like, make them promos or something. I don't know. Uh, four copies of the new... Ichikashima, esteemed deity of abundant water. Oh god damn, she's a wet girl. Um, it's really good. Counterblast 1, flip anything, draw a card, and oracle. Your front row gets 2k for each card in your hand. And face up in the G zone, uh, your G zone counts towards the amount of cards in your hand. So normally, if you're first striding her, you'll stride her and probably flip herself just to have that ability online. Or maybe not. You don't have to. But it's a really cool effect. And, yeah, it's great with Tongue because it makes the numbers insane, especially in the late game when you're at, like, GB5 and have, like, seven or eight cards in hand. So, normally, I... I used, and also, oh, I forgot to mention with her act ability, she nullifies con she nullifies auto abilities of guardians, so you can't, your opponent can't PG or use G guardian skills that are uh, not continuous. So, um, because she also shuts down PGs, she's insane with Tom. Uh, the other Ichikashima is still um, in the protect matchup is, wait, no. This is better in protect because your opponent uh, can still PG against the other one, but this time they can't because it nullifies the PG's ability. But being able to make a literally unguardable Tom makes the other Ichikashima wild. But if you don't have Tom, this is the better one just because it makes things really big. So, yeah, no, but this Ichikashima is really good. It's a really good addition. It definitely helped propel OTT to... Uh, being one of the other best four decks in the format. Then, four copies of the original Stillwater Festival deity, Ichikashima. Um, OGG G units before Ichikashima sucked. Uh, this is a good one, though, because it's the Ichikashima. Um, Counterblast 1, Cellblast 1, Persona Flip, draw 2, and then GB3 Oracle Flip anything. Your opponent can't guard with zeros or G guards. So you just... You also artificially lock out PGs and literal DG guards, so literally unguardable with Tom except for intercepting, which or um, protect gifts. So this is good. That's why I run it at four still. Then running two copies of Waka Harume. Um, honestly, I'll probably turn these into G guards just because like eight Ichikashimas and Nation Dragons is honestly all I've ever felt the need. Two, but I'll, so yeah. But uh, Walker Harume is like flip fodder. That's why I need the G. I'll, also, I'll probably get a, another G guard and run the GB8 because the GB8 can be fun. 
Uh, two copies of Son of Eternity Amaterasu. Um, it's one of it's a really good G guard that also lets you get soul back and see what you're gonna draw or potentially damage if you want to damage a miracle heal. And it's a way of getting more GBs for the original uh, Ichik for the new Ichikishima's G uh, cont ability, just because it's another face up card that you can flip because it's a G guard. And then the other G guard, which is Excite Battle Sister uh, Bavois. Uh, on G guard, kind of bless one, draw one, reveal the top if it's grade one or higher. Uh, she gets five shield, and then you can either put it on top or bottom. So, yeah, really good. I might run the G flip G guard lozenge magus just because it gives me another GB to turbo out either Zoa or the cont ability for Ichikashima. Actually, yeah, I should really do that. Uh, maybe when I play this game for more than like two months at a time before going to school, I'll do that. Uh, yeah, so that was the full profile. It's a good deck. It's um, it's pretty easy because all you really do is draw shit and just win with Ichikashima because guard restricting is a good mechanic. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for the money.